Welcome to Benin Republic. You guys know I'm an advocate for planting trees because trees improve our air quality. They provide oxygen that we really need to survive. They also provide shade, you know, after a hot day and they regulate the temperature so that it won't be too hot. And Lord knows we really need that. They also provide food protection and homes for birds and mammals. So I've talked about this on my show in the past, how deforestation, which is the cutting down of trees, is affecting our soil, affecting our water and the climate and also the ecosystem in Africa and you know that's why we are having uncontrollable erosion and flooding we have fewer crops now because deforestation reduces soil fertility please watch my episode on deforestation if you haven't because I strongly advise you guys to please please plant trees and by watching that episode you will know why I'm so excited about this story one man in Benin is trying to put an end to deforestation in his country by discouraging people from cooking with woods and is offering them an alternative as you guys may know 270 square miles of rainforest are destroyed every year in Benin according to Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations because they are cutting down these trees and using the woods as charcoal. So this man Ramon Jivoson decided to make a stove is using solar and shells of palm kernel, a kuro, something that we normally throw away and you know he calls it the solar cooker. I love when I see people thinking like this and the way he designed the stove is so efficient. it so that the cooker can charge your cell phone and then it can power three light bulbs that's amazing this guy is genius and you know all the people that have bought his product are raving about it they have nothing but good things to say in the first position i bought a cuisine and as i found that it was very effective i bought two more it's been three and yes, it is cheaper than buying wood. I found that it's really economic. I didn't say the cuisine, I said it was at least 25,000 wood per month. I started to use the cuisine, I don't even use it, it's not even 5,000 francs. You see what I'm saying? The only problem is it cost about $100 to make one stove, which a lot of people cannot afford. But he only has seven people working for him and they're making everything by hand. So he's looking for investors so, you know, so that he can afford modern technology to mass produce the stove so that it will be cheaper. In case you're interested, <laughs> you guys can find more about his story on BBC News Africa. And once again, this is his name. You can Google him as well. And I know he's not the only one doing it. I believe there are people doing similar things in Nigeria as well in different parts of Africa to everyone that is offering an alternative for people to cook so that they don't have to cut down trees. Thank you so much to every one of you. Thank you so much, sir. We're very proud of what you're doing. You guys don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs>